Welcome to day two of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Mystia and today we're going to think about becoming present to our emotions. <laughs> Yesterday we looked at a really basic idea of what it might mean to be mindful and we considered the two Mysteas that were out for the walk in the park. If you remember one Mystia, the one in the yellow coat was smelling the flowers and feeling the sun on her face and really in the present moment. Whereas the Mystere in the orange coat, we decided, had quite a full mind. So I'd like you to think about the following questions. Number one, how might the two Mysteres actually feel considering what seems to be going on in their minds? Don't get too caught up on what is actually happening in their minds or on what they're thinking about. You can certainly add that into your discussion if you would like to, but really think about how that might make them feel. Number two, do you think that they are aware of their feelings? Do you think that, that both these mysteries are actually aware of their mood and emotions right now? And number three, why might somebody miss how they are feeling? How is that even possible that somebody could not know if they were angry, upset, scared, lonely, worried? How might that happen? Again, there's no right or wrong answers. This is about you thinking and discussing, if you can, these answers. So take some time now to think, write, speak, whatever it is you need to do to process this within your situation. And I'll see you in a few minutes. So I'll give you my perspective on this. And that is that the key difference between these two mysterious is that one is in the present moment and the other one is all over the place really. So Mister in the yellow coat is kind of focused with her attention on one place. Her attention is in the park. Whereas the Mister in the orange coat, well her attention is in many different places at once and she's not necessarily going to be aware of that. She might be lost in thought. And I think we've all had that moment, or moments throughout the day, where we drift off into thinking about something else or daydreaming or worrying. And we can be there for quite some time before we actually realise that we've not been paying attention to something that we should have done or that we've just had our attention in a place that's not making us maybe feel very good. And because of this, because we're not always present to how we're feeling inside, we often do miss how we're feeling. And sometimes we won't notice that we may be really angry, for example, until we've already said something unkind or done something unkind. And we kind of, you know, we've got some regrets by then because we miss some signs along the way. So the key point here when it comes to emotions is that when we are not present, when we are not really paying attention, it is easy to miss the clues in our body and our mind that tell us that our emotions are changing. This isn't easy, but it's something we're going to work on throughout the weeks like everything else. Speaking of emotions, I want you to give yourself a number right now in between 1 and 10 based on how you are currently feeling. 10 being absolutely fantastic, amazing, never better, not being absolutely in the pits. <coughs> Give yourself a number as to how you are feeling. Pause the video if you need to. Off you go. Okay, now all we're going to do is repeat the breath activity from yesterday, but I'm going to add some counting in so that we extend it a little bit. So make sure you're sitting nice and comfortably. If you want to bring your shoulders up, you can do and then let them relax. Make sure that the breath can get into your chest and away we go. And in, two, three, four, hold and out, two, three, four. Four, five, 
and in, two, three, four, and hold, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, hold, and out, two, three, four, five. Hand on your bell if you want, two, three, four, hold, and out, two, three, four, five. Now we've done that, I'd like you to repeat what we did before the breath activity. Give yourself a number on the scale of 1 to 10. Take notice, has it changed? Has it stayed the same? Just get really curious. That's it for today. I'm going to leave you with the day two challenge, which is basically an extension of what we did yesterday. Again, I want you to pick a time later in the day when you can choose to repeat this breath. If you want to add in the count, so you're counting in for four, hold for one, out for five, then you are more than welcome to do that. If you just want to stick to a slow breath, you are absolutely fine to do that as well. I do want you to try and give yourself a number before and after this activity, just so you can kind of, again, get curious and see if there's any change in your emotions when you do step into the present moment, just for a few breaths, only three breaths or so, that will be more than enough. You're even better if, as yesterday, talk, think, write, Anything you can do that's going to get you thinking about this a little bit more and processing this information, that will help you to get more out of it. The more you put in, the more you get out. I'd love to hear how you're getting on with this, especially in terms of the challenges. Now, a couple of people have mentioned to me that comments on YouTube are disabled. I am aware of this. Because the videos are targeted at children, the comment section is disabled by YouTube. So that, that is in the interest of child safety, child protection. So if you do want to share something, it's going to have to be via Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. You can tweet me at Skills with Frills or get me on Facebook. It's at Skills with Frills Education. I'll leave my details on screen. And if you use the hashtag Mindful100, I'm more likely to pick it up. All right. Thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.